What's up, guys? I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide no, no, Cyclery, no, no, no. and today this is a tool video. I'm gonna do this one. Good idea. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm Liam, the head mechanic here at Worldwide Cyclery. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what I carry around in my mobile toolbox when I go on trips and go to events to work on bikes. I was able to work with Park Tool and handpick every single tool in this box. Also, I talked to Calvin at Park Tool and he gave us some recommendations for what tools he brings on weekend trips. Now let's check it out. So some of the tools that Calvin doesn't cover later in the video that I think are really essential to bring are a really good set of needle nose pliers, a adjustable torque wrench also with adjustable bits, super needed, as well as some really good screwdrivers, both a flathead and a Phillips head. I think those are all essentials and we're gonna go over those right now. So the Park Tool Needle Nose Pliers. The Needle Nose Pliers is a really good set of pliers to bring. You can do a lot of stuff with them and fix a lot of things with them. Everything from cables to pulling out things out of your tires. They have little cuts in here. There's also some grooved things so you can really versatile tool that really gets the job done when you just need a set of pliers to adjust something or pull something. Needle nose are definitely needed. Next, we're gonna check out the Park Tool Torque Wrench. This is a smaller adjustable torque wrench. It has uh, adjustable Newton meters all the way from four to six and even 0.5s in between there. Um, this is really useful for carbon handlebars, stems, dropper posts, brake rotors, it also comes with adjustable bits. So the adjustable bits come with a three, four, five, and T25. It also uses a normal bit holder. So if you have other bits that are weird sizes, you can pop those in there and still use the torque wrench part of this. The torque wrench is really useful though when you're checking out carbon bars, maybe you crashed, they slipped, dropper posts, you need to raise or lower it a little bit. Those are all parts on a bike that you really wanna make sure the torque is accurate. If they're not, stuff might not grip or your dropper post might not actuate fully as it's too tight. Next, we're gonna check out some Park Tool screwdrivers. They make two different sizes in the screwdrivers on both flathead and Phillips head. I think you could probably get away with just doing one or the other on the sizes. I have all four for the box, but uh, they're you know pretty basic screwdrivers. You get a flathead, you get a Phillips head, Good for everything from derailleur adjustments to even prying stuff out, small adjustments, but you never know when you're gonna need a screwdriver. Could even be useful for other bike things on your trips. So now let's check out the tools that Calvin from Park Tool recommends you bring on a weekend trip. They're also essentials that I think everyone should bring on them. And after that, we're gonna check out the more bike nerd tools that I like to bring. They're kind of style points, but they're also really needed for those what ifs on the trail. So we're here with Calvin. He's gonna point us out some of his favorite tools of what he wants to bring on a trip to make sure his bikes are dialed in. So road or mountain, uh, mountain especially, you're bashing around, tend to fall over, uh, which is half, half the fun. Uh, one thing, one of my favorites is actually the AWS 7. It is a 4.5 T25, six millimeter, not needed so much anymore. Yeah. Uh, out on the road, you can pull apart, uh, uh, apart uh, the rear linkage and your suspension. Why are you pulling apart your suspension on the trail on the week? And you shouldn't be out on a camping trip doing that. Yeah. So the AWS 7 is nice, really nice. It is pulling off the rear derailleur to allow us to check the hanger alignment. So the DAG 2.2, it's going to uh, uh, check for through axles for all bikes. See, it's nice and square. The 11 and 12 speeds have got to be nice and spot on. So you're a little bit bent. It's cattywampus, ain't going to work. Yeah. So. so these two tools are really handy together because the five mils for the derailleur, and then you can check your hanger if you do happen to tip That's over. Right. That's right. Now, chain tool is very important to you. The most important chain tool, we should say, is remembering to check your chain before you leave. Aha! Yeah. So you get out there, if you're helping your buddies, especially a chain tool. So we have uh, our new chain tools here. Uh, this is an interesting one, it's an update. It's for the new Axis chain. So SRAM's got a little larger roller. Aha! A trick! It doesn't work on anybody else's cassette and it doesn't work on anybody else's chain ring. So uh, that's of course, that's roadie stuff. 
the SRAM 12-speed Eagle, same as it ever was. So, but that, that will do all, all chains there. So a chain tool of some sort, get your hanger straight, and the AWR7 to take stuff off, tighten pinch bolts and so on. Good to have. Awesome, thanks Calvin for going over that. And this one's handy, cassette lock ring. <laughs> but again, shouldn't we have checked our cassette before we left, use the bathroom before you go, and check those lock rings. Yeah. It is uh, coming to be more um, tools or more adjustments with this tool though. There so sure suspension. Are. Tokens now with yeah, RockShox yeah, use it. Top caps and top cats, EDC. Cannondale's buddies at Cannondale are running that on the, the front lefty, so we're seeing it all so over. Lots of it, fun places. It is handier for more than just your cassette, so That's it is right. a, maybe another good one to bring. That's right. That's four. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Calvin. So as I said, these are kind of the more bike nerd tools. You might not always need them, but they're always useful for myself when I'm out there on trips, as everyone leans to me to work on their bikes, so I make sure I bring them. The Park Tool Cable Cutters. Um, pretty basic set of cable cutters. They're sharp, they get the job done, they have a nice handle. Pretty essential for cutting any kind of cable housing, whether it's shift or break housing. Most of the time we're only really cutting shift housing now, but or dropper post housing. Um, but they're really needed to cut those and get a nice clean cut so you have a smooth cable through there. So Park Tool Cable Cutters are go-to for my box. Next, I also use these for cables, but also for a plethora of other parts on the bike. The Park Tool Pick Set. So the Pick Set comes with three picks, has a 90 degree, a straight, as well as a semi-curved. I use these to open up the uh, shift housing hole just to make it nice and open so the shift house cable runs through the housing really smooth. Um, they're also really useful for picking out other things on the bike. Uh, the little Shimano clamp on the brake lever, you pop that open with these. You never know when you're gonna need a sharp pick, so I always bring some picks. Another set of pliers that I think is really useful to bring are the Park Tool chain pliers. These are really good for popping your master link both open and also closing it. They're also really useful for a bunch of other things on the bike, whether it's getting your forks air cap off, sometimes the Fox rebound knob gets stuck. This with a little rag, it helps helpful to get it out. Um, even adjusting your SRAM contact adjust. Sometimes those get stuck if you don't move them for a while. So the small little curved ends of these pliers are really useful for taking that and adjusting it if they're a little stuck. So the chain pliers have lots of uses and uh, I always bring these as well. So this one might seem like a little odd, but I've used it more times than I've thought I've needed it. It's a three quarter round 8 mil and 10 mil uh, open-ended wrench. The main thing I use this for is closing brake hose nuts. So I've been on trips sometimes where people crash and the brake housing rips out of the uh, brake lever. So putting it back in and having a nice tool that doesn't round out the nut is really useful. Sometimes those are aluminum and they're super easy to round. So the three quarter allows that to not round it out. Might not really be needed, but I bring it just in case. Going along with the brake hose tool is also another brake housing tool, the Park Tool Cable Cutter and Barb Press. This is new for Park Tool and it's a really useful two-in-one tool. It's all made out of nice materials, it's metal, good grips to it. Not only does it cut your cable housing here, so if you do happen to rip it out or you do need to shorten it, you can bring this out, cut your cable housing, but also has a spot for you to clamp your housing and also press your barb in. So any type of Shimano brakes, TRP brakes that use this, that press the barb in, this is a really useful tool for both cutting and pressing that barb. So again, might not be needed, but I have it for the what ifs and I've used it more times than I thought I would. So a couple of the other tools that I always bring with me as well, again, they're kind of not always needed, but I like to have them for the what ifs. Park tool Torx bit, this has everything from a T9 to T40. A lot more bike parts are coming with these now, so you never know what size you're gonna need. Um, I also have a individual T10 here. That's really good for SRAM brakes, so T10, really useful. Other things I bring, shock pumps. Always gonna need a shock pump, whether you're riding different terrain, setting up a friend's bike, so on. Always bring a shock pump. I also always have a bleed setup. So I always carry everything for bleeding both dot and mineral fluid, mainly SRAM and Shimano brakes, 
but I also have a bunch of other tips and adapters in here that will work for MRP or MRP doesn't make brakes. Freaking idiot. TRP and Magura. Last little bits, pipe cutters for cutting aluminum handlebars or even steer tubes, mostly handlebars though. And the last one, the rotor truing tool. Sometimes you crash or sometimes this stuff, uh, the rotors just get bumped in transit. So whether you're shuttling or moving stuff around, rotors come out of true sometimes. This always helps bring them back in so they're not tapping all over the place. Probably more annoying for your buddies when they're tapping and making noise than they are for you. So in the sake of your buddies, have one of these, make sure you can true those rotors out. So I hope you guys liked this video, gave you some knowledge on bike tools and what I bring. This is going to be a multi-part series, so stay tuned for the next one. Let us know what tech tips you guys want to see, as well as what tools you guys want to see being used. If you like this video, make sure to like it and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for the next one. This my toolbox.